In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to install a rapid shutdown switch in an Enphase energy system with an IQ System Controller 2 and IQ8 microinverters. Remember to de-energize the IQ System Controller 2 before installing, testing, or troubleshooting the rapid shutdown switch. Failure to do so may cause damage to the IQ System Controller and void the warranty. And as always, follow safety best practices and local and national electric code while working on electrical equipment. The first step is to remove the cover from the rapid shutdown switch and attach terminal wires to each pole on the switch. Pay close attention to the number for each pole. You'll notice that the numbers run diagonal, not horizontal. As you run each wire, be sure to label both ends, 1 through 4. Next, find the four connector wires that came in the accessory kit with the IQ System Controller 2. They're about 8 inches long and include butt splicers on one end. These connectors are very important since the green header in the IQ system controller cannot accept the thicker gauge wire that was just connected to the rapid shutdown switch. Now insert and secure the connectors into the pre-installed rapid shutdown switch header near the bottom of the IQ system controller 2. This header is the third from the left. To secure the connectors, tighten a screw on each of the terminals in the header. Now insert and crimp the four wires coming from the rapid shutdown switch into the butt splicer end on the four connector wires. Pay attention to the labels you added to each wire so that the correct wire, 1, 2, 3, or 4, is connected to the correct terminal in the header. The numbers on the header go from 1 to 4, from left to right. Here you can see the result after the terminal wires have been secured to each of the four connector wires. A rapid shutdown switch is only required for systems with IQ8 microinverters. If the system has M, IQ6, or IQ7 series microinverters, you do not need to install a rapid shutdown switch. However, you still need to close the connection on the rapid shutdown switch header. To close the connection, prepare two short wires that are only a few inches in length. Then crimp these short wires into the butt splicers on the connector wires. This will create a loop between connectors 1 and 2, and another loop between connectors 3 and 4. The rapid shutdown switch, or switch bypass, has now been properly wired to the IQ system controller 2.